The biggest things in the universe are black holes. But the biggest thing, that's one thing. Galaxies are not one thing. Scientists say, unlike planets or stars, the size of a black hole is not limited. But don't think every black hole is giant. A black hole can be a very small thing or the biggest thing in the entire universe. How big can it get? What's the biggest black hole? In this video, we're not going to talk about how a black hole works or how it is formed because there's a bunch of videos about those. Today, we just want to talk about the biggest things in the entire universe. Let's start from very small. Primordial black holes. Scientists believe primordial black holes should exist. But why are these black holes called primordial? Because they believe these black holes formed before Adam, meaning seconds after the Big Bang. The mass of these black holes are like the Himalayas mountains, but the size of it is the size of a proton. And if you've seen the video that we made about atoms, you'll realize how small a proton actually is. How is it possible for a thing the size of a proton to have this mass? Even if the entire planet turns into a black hole, it will be size of a coin. Finding a black hole in the universe is very difficult. But if James Webb is successful, we should be able to take some pics of other black holes. But let's go to the black holes that we're sure that are real. These black holes are called stellar black holes. To get to know these things, let's start with the mass of our own sun. The mass of the sun is 2 million trillion trillion kilograms. The smallest known black hole in the universe has a mass of 2.7 times of our sun. And this is a really small black hole with a diameter of only 16 kilometers. So with the sun, we can't really get much done. Let's get to bigger things. V723 Mon, a giant sun that's 25 times bigger than our own sun, meaning 30 million kilometers in diameter. But this giant star is rotating around a 17 kilometer black hole. 30 million kilometer giant is a prison to a 17 kilometer dot. When you look at this black hole that's prisoning this star, it's kind of like a fly that's controlling a dinosaur and making it rotate anywhere. You guys saw how much power these black holes have? Let's see the bigger ones. The biggest stellar black hole we know of is M33X7. But don't think that it's really big. This is the biggest stellar black hole and the diameter of it is only 92 kilometers. As you guys know, black holes grow by sucking things in and they can even suck another black hole in. The gravity of these black holes are so intense, you could detect them from Earth. But these black holes that we told you about, you really can't find bigger ones, but you gotta go about million times the size of these ones. These baby black holes had this much power, but imagine the big one. 
black holes that you can't even imagine. As we said, black holes suck other things to make themselves bigger. But the size of these black holes don't make sense with the timeline of the universe. Meaning, after the Big Bang, a black hole cannot get this big in this time. And that is why scientists believe these black holes got this big in another way. And this is kind of a mystery. The theory that astronomers came up about this is that in the beginning of the universe, there were stars that were extremely giant. These stars were called quasi stars. They believe that these quasi stars were thousands of times the size of the sun. And they say these are the cause of these giant black holes. When those stars died, they turn into these black holes. But let's see which one is the biggest one. Supermassive black hole. They believe in the center of each galaxy, there is a supermassive black hole. This supermassive black hole that exists in the center of our own universe, Milky Way, it's called Sagittarius A. The mass of this black hole is 4 million times the mass of the sun, but the size is only 17 times the sun. A lot of people think since Sagittarius A is in the center of the Milky Way and has an insane amount of power, it's probably controlling and spinning this galaxy around. But most people deny that because there are billions and billions of stars just in the Milky Way and the reason that they're in an organized fashion is not because of this black hole, but it's because of dark matter. And we've made a video about dark matter. But don't think that this supermassive black hole that's in the center of the Milky Way is ginormous. These are still the small ones. If you look at the black hole that's in the center of Cygnus A, you realize what kind of a monster it is. The mass of this one is two and a half billion times the mass of the sun and the diameter is 14.7 billion kilometers. Meaning it's bigger than the solar system. There's another galaxy you should know about that it's called Messier 87 and the black hole has a cool story. This picture is the only picture of a black hole we have today. The mass of this one is six and a half billion times the mass of the sun. A really giant vacuum cleaner that wants to suck everything in. But don't think that this was the biggest one. Let's go bigger. Ultra massive black hole. I think we got to the biggest black hole, but I'm not too sure about that. These black holes are so big that are tens of billions times the mass of our own sun. These are also in the center of galaxies, but they are so much bigger than supermassive black holes that they needed their own category. Like for example, OJ287 galaxy, which is the same name for its black hole, has a mass of 18 billion times the mass of the sun. These numbers that we're saying, it might not seem real to you because the human brain can't really process a number that large. Just count it like that, that the diameter of this black hole is three times the diameter of the solar system. But it seems like that this is still not the biggest black hole. The biggest black hole that we've ever found is Tun 618. Tun 618 is 66 billion times the mass of the sun. Meaning it has a diameter of 11 times the solar system. But this black hole 
is 10 billion light years away from us. Meaning, the thing we're seeing right now is 10 billion years ago. Maybe it's 10 times, a hundred times, or a thousand times of what we're seeing. We talked about this black hole so much, but we have to know that the human knowledge about black holes is very low, and we might not even scratch the surface of the knowledge of this thing, or realize what's inside it what is happening in there. But we can say that these things live a very long time. Meaning, in the end, everything is gonna be gone, but black holes are gonna be there, and those are gonna be the biggest and last things in the entire universe.